surprised <laughs> that our managing director will be resigning. Joining it at the end of this month? Yes. This, that's not the style of our managing director. Our managing director is a people person. And he values his staff too much to just throw something on us like that so suddenly. And so we do not believe that this decision is wholeheartedly that of Mr. Hilton. And so the staff stands in solidarity to protest his removal because Mr. Hilton is not one of, he is the best managing director we have ever had. He puts the number one resource, which is the people, the staff, first. Mr. Hilton will allow the staff to climb on a limb if it is broken, if it is in the best interest of the organization because that is how motivated we are. I for one have been here for over 12 years and we have never had such harmonious relationship with our work, just getting it done because we have an ending farm for Willard Hilton who is not interested in the job, but they have more interest in the employee who does the job. And so when you move the employee to be comfortable and happy, then you can get them to do what is necessary to be done. As such, the Transport Authority, I believe, has never been at a better place in its history. After 35 years, we have never been so, so good at it. And then to hear that the person who, over the last three years, have led us in a marked manner, We'll have to just resign and go like that. Then it is heart rending to every one of us because we don't see a problem. And after not seeing a problem, how oh, are you going to fix something that does not exist? So I'm asking him to resign or to, to retire from this office. How will that help the organization better when he's the one who has brought us here through the pandemic, thick and thin? So we are hurt and we're saddened at this decision. And as I said, our manager is a leader and that is not the way he leads. He puts his staff first. And if this is a bitter pill for us to swallow, that is not the way in which he would have given it to us. Right. And so we refuse to accept this. They seem to be a Barabbas and a Judas among us. And the Bible speaks of these people behaving like cows. Cow cannot lead, but cow no one, nobody lead them. There has to be a cow in our camp. We want Hilton!